Hey you bunch of fishing legends and welcome to my channel. Subscribe to join my fishing adventures chasing the elusive Mulloway Jew Silver Ghost. Whatever you want to call them, I think they're one of the most rewarding fish to catch. Plenty of tips, tricks and tactics to hopefully help you catch that fish of a lifetime. Hope you enjoy what I have to offer. Cheers. Yes. Oh yeah, finally got a decent fish. Oh, yeah, this one's bigger. Oh, maybe not so little. The little fellas are taking live baits. Oh, another good fish. Yeah, Mulloway got big mouth, so use big hook. Maybe not such a big hook. Holy crap! Oh, another good fish here. <laughs> oh, it's a Mulloway, but it's a bloody baby Mulloway. Oh my. Baby. We got another one before, it wasn't quite that small, but. It's a Mulloway still. Oh yeah, finally got a decent fish. Oh yeah, this is a good fish. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a ripper. Oh yeah, big head shakes. Oh, still taking line. Yes! Finally! Oh, this is definitely illegal. Swimming at the boat. Yes! Oh yeah, good fish. Oh yeah. This is a big fish. Oh, big head shake. Oh, this is a ripper fish. You ripper. Oh yeah, baby. Oh, this has got to be 70 plus. Oh yeah, good fish, alright. Oh, don't you dare get off. <laughs> oh. oh yeah baby oh. oh I've been getting piss fart and pricks of bites oh god what a head rush oh you bloody ripper have a look at that Oh, he wasn't getting off. Have a look at that. Both the hooks are down there. Oh, 
81. 81 centimeters. Chris and the Chris and the new Bragg Matt. 81 centimeters first legal in the boat for the season. Hey legends and welcome back to another episode. What a way to start the night, eh? 81 centimetre mile away. You bloody ripper. As you can see, I'm back in I'm in the boat in the Kurong. And this is the first decent fish I've got. I got three undersize. And this one just took off. Boy, she put up a fight. 81 centimetres. You bloody ripper. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
There's the big ones. Another little fella. Where's the big ones? Can't believe I only caught one big one and it was like a really good one. Be a little bit bigger. Oh yeah, this one's bigger. Oh about time. Another legal. Oh yeah, good fish. Oh, and that legal. Oh yeah, nice. Four centimetres. Tag him, eh? Have a look at that, legends. My first tag, Kirong Mulloway. 54 centimetres. Get her back nice and healthy. Eww. First tag, Kirong Mulloway. Off she goes. <laughs> Little fella. Oh, maybe not so little. Ten undersized and two legal so far. Even the little fellas are taking live baits. I'll tell you what, he's not far off legal actually. Just legal. Is two. We'll tag him. Number two, tag and release for the night. There she goes. Oh, that was a good one. Damn it. Take this catches me a meter. -y. One live bait, one meter. -y. Oh, another good fish. Another good fish. Another good fish on the live after I just lost a good one and just lost the rod oh 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 get out of there holy crap holy crap this is a good fish all right holy crap just after i lost the big one Oh, 
Oh, that's another righty. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I just lost a rod, though. Oh, my God. What is going on? Oh, get out of here. That's 82. Too. I should tag that one. Have a look at that. 82 centimeters. I'm gonna tag release this one. Stocky fish this one. And what a ripper of a fish. Got it on the live salmon. Gotta get her back nice and healthy. What a ripper of a fish. 82 centimetres, tag and release, come on girl, yeah she's ready to go, off you go girl, yeah she's gone, yeah! Get a P word lot. Oh, hey, not such a P word. Holy crap! Jeepers! I thought it was a P word. Far from it. Stuffed his eye. I have to keep that one. Just thinking they not, don't like the sari and then he took it. I was using but 
This uh, red one here is a BKK 8O octopus. And um, yeah, I like them. And this other one is a mustard ultra point 8O. Actually, it's a 10O, this one. And a lot of a lot of people don't you know, like to use big hooks in the Kirong, but as far as I'm concerned, Mullaway got big mouth, so use a big hook. Ten oh and eight oh, doing the job for me tonight. Big baits, big fish. <laughs> That's legal in here. So, how many legs is that? I'm not going to tag that one, just let him go. Thanks to the good old GoPro, I lost some footage, so I'll take you straight to cleaning the fish now, starting from filleting through to skinning and cutting the fish up. Cheers, legends. All right, first thing I do is make the first cut. The back of the head here. Scales make it a bit hard to get in there sometimes, but yeah, I just cut up towards the back, top of the head there. So you don't lose any meat because the meat goes right up to there. And then I just cut along the top of the fish, running the knife along the backbone, all the way down to the anal fin. Then I put the knife through to the start of the anal fin over there and then run the knife back to the tail with the bigger fish the bone, backbone the bumps on the backbone are pretty big so you just take it nice and easy so you don't lose too much meat and slowly slide it back towards the tail as you can see they've got the lumps there on the tail but you can get most of the meat off there. Then I just run the knife along the backbone. On the top of the bones there. Just run it all the way down the fish. There's no need to hurry with it. Take your time, you lose less meat. And you run across that back the backbone there and slide it along the bottom of the fish. Thanks to get all the meat. Like so. And you run the knife around the rib cage, top of the rib cage. And there's a bone that sticks out up high here, so I just try and go around that. Be careful not to cut your finger, of course. And over the rib cage, and then the bottom bottom bones on the rib cage here, the back bones, I cut through it, cut through them like that. Otherwise you lose too much meat here. But yeah, just cut through those bones and then run the knife along there like so. 
and then just cut through there. There's not much meat. You can always cut the wings off and cook the wings up. With the bigger ones, it's worth it. With the smaller ones, not so much. But yeah, just cut it off there so you can see. I've got most of it. You got the bone, rib bones there. And I got most of the meat off, didn't lose too much. You lose a little bit in the tail there because of the big humps on the tail bone. But as you can see, I got most of the meat off of there. And then you can cut the wings off. I won't bother showing you that now, but you just cut through there, cut the wings off, and then you can cook them up. They're decent sized wings when they're fish this size. But yeah, that's one side. And the second side's bit harder I find the second side a bit harder but do it the same way cut down there behind the head across the top and you just use the tip of the knife don't go in too far otherwise you might cut too deep into the meat once again look at that bloody beautiful fillet of fish some people like to leave the skin on their fish but I like to I always skin my fish because I find that they freeze better um, and I think a lot of the fishy taste is in the um, in the skin and the red meat that joins the meat to the skin so I always skin mine I start at the tail there's not much meat right at the end there so you just put your I put my fingernails on there I start it off like that and just soaring action slowly holding the skin nice and tight and just slowly run your knife scissor action up towards the front of the fillet like so and as you can see not most of the there's not much meat left on there there's a lot of a lot of red meat there and that's um when they, when you're freezing for a while that's that's the um it gets really fishy tasting that that meat so Sometimes I like to even like cut some of the red meat off because it freezes better. Then once I've skinned it, there's a row of bones that goes through here. You run your finger along there and you can feel them. On the bottom side of the fillet, um, the bones the bones actually go towards the top side of the fillet. So you can just, just run your knife along that bit there pretty well straight down from the red red line there the meat the uh, blood line and there's no bones there but yeah you cut back to there and on this side I'll go around like that because the bones bones actually run back that way so you go around like that and cut sort of towards into the fillet as you can see that see the bones running through there so I just run it over that way make sure you don't cut through the bones like so see that you can see the bones running through there that's sort of like a really thin V that you cut out of it and there's a bit of meat there but that's all that's got bone all through it see that see the bones there you lose a little bit of meat there but you could always cook, cook that up if you wanted to and um, just take the bones out of it but I don't want you don't bother and there you get, get um, four nice big fillets out of a fish this size. Takes a bit of practice at doing this, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. It's nice and easy, sliding it, soaring action back that way. And nice fillets again.
good old gay pros, eh? You always rely on them to go flat when you just when you don't want them to. But anyway, I was pretty well finished um, filleting and cutting them up. And there's the finished product, nice pile of muller weight. And, boy, I love it, I tell you what, I don't know. Some people say they don't like it that much. Oh, I love it. I reckon it's unreal. Um, crumbed and deep fried or on the barbecue. But, yeah, once I've uh, finished skinning and cutting it up, because um, it's pretty hard to bring home salt water from where you've ever been fishing, I just get sea salt, put it in a container, and uh, put some uh, fresh water with it, mix it with fresh water, and that's pretty well salt water as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, I just rinse the, all the fillets in the salt water, put them in freezer bags, and chuck it in the freezer. Or eat it fresh if you want to eat it fresh, but yeah, that's how I fillet skin and cut up my fish, my mother way. Um, but yeah, that's the end of the episode. If you like this episode, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, tell me if you want to see more episodes like this or anything else you want to see, just let me know. Anyway, Legends, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one soon. Yee-hee-hee-hoo!